according to Akima First, I'm Emiko Kitsune from Inari Kitsune Kimono Fursuits. And today's subject is how I became an artist. Now, the video that is showing is when I was using Canvas Tutor, the drawing app that gives daily art challenges to help improve your skills. Now, I stopped using it because I'm not very consistent, because I have a lot of other things to do. Um, but it's really good for starting artists 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 art artists that just need constant challenges and it really improves your skills i highly recommend it i also use dreamself.me to create the characters for this challenge now canvas tutor provided me the three characteristics for a character to draw and i just applied that when making this character in dreamself.me now with Further ado, let's get down to the question, why did I become an artist? Now, I didn't start getting serious in drawing till around first to third grade. Now, I had a friend named Kieran, she was into dinosaurs and dragons and would draw them quite often. I'm pretty sure her dad was an artist and she learned from him at an even younger age because her drawing skills were noise. I spent maybe two, three years with her in classes. I'm not really sure because I only have one class photo and that's from the third grade and she's in it. So I at least know I knew her from third grade. Now you could say her dragon drawings wanted me to draw them as well, but being the shy person that I was at that age, I didn't like to ask for help from kids my age. So I'm not sure if I asked her or not, but I think I remember her teaching other kids as well. And I think I just looked over their shoulder and was trying to see. I was more of an observer when it comes to learning, even now and even in school. My mom worked at a childcare place. She taught three-year-olds. I know that much. And one of her assistants was an artist. They made an after-school program at this place for the employees' kids, and Miss Emily, the artist that was in charge, my mom's assistant at the time, uh, would be there. And I would often ask her to teach me how to draw dragons or how to draw certain things, and she would teach me. She would encourage me to look at anatomy pictures and would give me some daily challenges to draw. Now, I wasn't able to show Kieran my what I was able to draw or my progress with my dragons because by that point I already moved and that was a bit sad. My brother and I would often um, take the bus to my mom's work or we would take the bus to the library where we would read and check out manga. By this point I was inspired to draw manga and anime because I saw some fan art on the back of Fruits Basket of Toru Honda and I wanted to submit one of my own. So I actually remember looking at Fruits Basket and using it as a reference to draw Toru Honda and that was actually pretty cool. I never actually submitted the artwork but the idea is what counts. That's when I turned to YouTube. We finally got a computer of our own at home so I watched Mark Creeley, I also watched Bailey J when she was known as ZKZ and there were many others that weren't as popular or they stopped um, posting. My mom is my witness when I would watch these videos. I would pause, draw on a on copying paper that was clipped to a clipboard and the computer was really low, like on a coffee table. So I'd have to use a stool that we had that we would put underneath our trash can. And let me tell you, that thing is not comfortable after like two hours or so. Basically, I would just keep drawing through middle school. Um, I had so many sketches, some people wanted to buy them from me. I would sell them for like $1.50 because I wasn't really comfortable with my style being that great. So I just sold them at a really low price. Not a lot of them sold, but I could say maybe um, 10, 5-ish, that kind of thing. I took art in middle school, I think 6th grade, I don't exactly remember, but I know at least 7th and 8th grade. I was really like deterred about it, but yeah, I took art at that time. 
most of the things there I had already self-taught myself. So I just had a lot of time in my hand and I would just use the resources. I'll just use that class as a resource, whether for markers, paper, uh, basically any resources that you can think of. I use them for that. Yeah. Uh, my, te my art teacher in middle school had a bamboo drawing tablet. And so he let me borrow it and take it home. And I would use GIMP or Paint Tool Sci. But it was really inspiring. And maybe I'll show some pictures of the early digital art that I did at the time. High school, I didn't really take art till 11th or 12th grade. So my junior and senior year. My 11th grade junior year, I convinced my art teacher I could do much more to join painting and drawing because you had to take art one before you can take painting and drawing. So she agreed to let me take both. So I took two classes in a year, two classes for two years, I guess, because art one and then turns to art two and then painting and drawing one to painting and drawing two. So I took those two art classes in school year. And even if I didn't fully understand some of the things in painting and drawing, it was really easy for me to just look it up or just quick study because I'm just pretty much that observant. At the time, I was and I still am really serious about my art. I, When I decided to use oil pastels, I watched over 20 videos on YouTube to understand how the blending works or how to blend them properly. And then in painting and drawing, for the second year was drawing, we did self-portraits. And the my art teacher's assistant thought I had worked with charcoal before, but honestly, that was the very first time I'd ever used charcoal. But I had just observed how others, if they had made mistakes, and I just made sure I wouldn't make those mistakes. Then I graduated high school, and here I am now, making and drawing furries, anime, making fursuits, and that's how I became an artist. Thank you for watching and please subscribe for more videos soon to come. If you want faster content, I post regularly or try to post regularly on Facebook. Inari Kitsune Kimono Fursuits is in fact my business page, but I also post my art there as well. I also have an Instagram and I post there as much as I can. Um, check out my other social media on the screen or down in the description. I have a Twitch and we'll be doing some live streams sometime of art or games. So look forward to that. You can even ask me some questions while I'm drawing and get an idea of how I do things. But thanks again. Bye.